My name is Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. That was my edit called Always Disarm, but then Rearm. Because three three times in that, uh, in that battery, I uh, got hung up, disarmed for it to not get all tangled up in the, uh, in the, in the tree-ness. And, uh, and then rearmed once I was free of the, uh, of the tree. So yeah. This never disarm thing, it'll just it'll just spin the props up in the in the in the scraggly bits and get you hung up more. Disarm, and then just wait, and then just wait, and just look, and just look, and just look, and then and then rearm, and then fly away. It's all good. Uh, so look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh God. Oh God. There it is. Look at that. Look. Isn't that an unsatisfying number? Doesn't that... Don't you want that to not be such a... Such a... <laughs> Do whatever you want. If you'd like to subscribe, subscribe. If not, that's okay. I get it. I get it. But, you know, if, if, that, guy, if that makes you anxious, if that number makes you anxious, um, there's a solution. 
down there. Tonight we're doing giveaways, four giveaways, three of which are uh, through Patreon, one of which is through uh, Super Chats and PayPal. The three Patreon, well, all the giveaways are going to happen at 10.30, so you've got like 25 minutes if you want to get in on one or all three of the uh, of the Patreon give. Oh, excuse me, giveaways. Uh, here's how it works. Over on Patreon, uh, I've got a ton of really good stuff. For three bucks a month, you can get in, and it's like 10 cents a day. I do daily live, live streams for patrons. Um, so, a live stream for 10 cents. That's pretty good, right? Um, you're going to love my nuts. Uh, so, yeah, you could do that. Or, if you want to do, there are um, a bunch of Patreon tiers for the giveaways. There's a $5 a month tier uh, for Tiny Whoop and Toothpick stuff. There's a $10 a month tier for 3-inch Micro Brushless and Cine Whoop stuff. There's a $20 a month tier for 5-inch parts. Um, each one of those, t I have it set up that way so that if you only fly Tiny Whoops, you can only win Tiny Whoop stuff because every single time I've ever won anything in my life, for some reason it was unusable. Um, and I don't want that to happen to you because, you know, I'm a nice guy. Uh, I am a nice guy. I shouldn't roll my eyes at, at, at that, of all things. Uh, so yeah, you could do that. Or if you have all the above and you really want to support me and see me keep doing this full time, which I have been for coming up on a year now, um, there's a $30 a month tier and that puts you in all the giveaways. It puts you in three, all three. Yeah. So that's how it works. Uh, and if you go over to Patreon right now and get signed up, you'll be on tonight's giveaways and then I do them every every other Monday so you'll be on the next Monday's giveaway and Patreon is a monthly thing so for your five or ten or twenty bucks um, you get entered into two giveaways per month uh, the thumbnail of this is uh, showing you what's in tonight's giveaways uh, to give you some idea uh, prop pack of all the good tiny whoop propellers for the micro brushless and uh, um, I'm sorry, not the micro brushless, the uh, toothpick and tiny whoop tier, as well as a uh, BQE um, pickpocket two inch frame with a camera in there, canopy, and some amazing Gep RC prop guards. Uh, that's the $5 a month tier. Uh, the micro brushless and cine whoop tier is a, set, a full set of um, beta FPV 1505s and an extra bell, as well as all of the really good uh, cine whoop propellers. And then the the twenty dollar tier is a whole bunch of stuff. It's it's down there on the floor. You can just use your imagination. <laughs> it's a bunch of stuff, bunch of props, um, SMA antenna, Axie two, uh, a little scale because I'm gonna force you guys to be more conscious of weight. Um, some skids, some arm skids, uh, a VTX, uh, yeah. Some stuff, man. And then we're going to do our uh, Super Chat and uh, PayPal, like, uh, X number of dollars giveaway uh, after those are done. Um, super Chats up until the point of us starting the giveaways are just Super Chats to support me um, and to support the non-existent... Oh, it's not turned on. Uh, and, to port, and to support the, the non-existent uh, fake BattleBots fund. Um, once I say, hey, the Super Chat giveaway is now beginning that's when your x number of dollar I'll, I'll figure out the number of dollars at that point uh super chats will be going on the wheel spin the wheel somebody wins a uh, bunch of cool stuff tonight uh this one of these shirts in extra large um set of tweet fpv transmitter grips um a copy of a digital copy of FPV Flight Dynamics, um, and uh, some other stuff. So yeah, we're going to have some good giveaways tonight. I'm excited. Uh, in the chat, if you would like to talk directly to me, all you've got to do is type my name. It's Ciotti FPV. It's right down there. Uh, you got to spell it right, or else your name won't, or else my name won't show up in orange for me. Here's what it looks like. That's not the right scene. Uh, when you guys type my name into the chat, it shows up in orange like this, and those are the chat comments that I read. If you want to make absolutely sure that I read your comment, just do a super chat, because I absolutely always get through all of those. Um, but I do a pretty good job reading everybody's comments that, uh, that types the FPV into the chat. It's kind of my thing. 
Uh, Free Range Chicken did it first and said, what's up? Family Guyver was next. Rybox, oh wait, no, in the chat. Rick Zapata, Zanakis, William Barlow, Paul Fornage, Jedi Pritchard, Frank Nicholas again, RC Attic, Spider Monkey, FPV, Dan Richmond, Zanakis again. Zanakis, of course, from uh, FPV Exchange. A huge support of the channel. If you don't know what FPV Exchange is, go over there now. Put a .com at the end of it, and you'll discover an amazing website for trading and selling your gear. Um, Bad Habit RC, Free Range Chicken, Solvent FPV, Tiago Ramos is here, Metal Dirt Skin, Alexander Montoya, Toxic FPV, Family Guyver again, Beep Tube, Brandon's Baked Beans, Dog Life UK, Geo Fairbanks, Rob Access and License to Drive, and EE e. Doc are all the people that are on the first page of my live chat window. Gotta get in early if you want to hear your name read by a lanky fella. Uh, Rob Oxison tagged me and said, shh, I'm at work. Chomper said, hey. Drone Pilot said, hello. Rob Oxison said, gangly man with no shirt. Definitely shirt forever. Gem Fan Hobby is here. What's up, Gem Fan? Um, as many of you OG folks know, Gem Fan propellers have always been my favorites. They've, they're, they're the, the company that really have been making micro, really well-balanced micro, uh, propellers since the very beginning. So, like, very quickly, when I started in this hobby four-ish years ago, um, every time I bought Gemfan Microprops, they actually ran and, and worked. <laughs> Whereas a lot of the other companies I would get Microprops from, and the quality control was just real bad back then. Um, and over the years, I've just never moved away from Gemfan. They've just, their props have always been incredible. So, um, yeah, when they offered me a sponsorship, I jumped all over it, and it's been fantastic. They sent me a ton of props, a bunch of which uh, we're doing giveaways with tonight. And, um, yeah, they listen to their customers. They get feedback from people. They're awesome. So thanks for hanging out, Gemfan. Very cool of you to come to the, uh, to the insanity. Uh, welcome. Chat, if you guys have any questions for Gemfan about the maybe the Moonlight LED props, which I have some Moonlight V2s coming. I ordered some off of uh, Pyrodrone when I saw they went in stock. Um, so yeah, if you got any questions, Gem Fan. I mean, at ten oh three they were in the chat. I don't know if they're still here. Fire! Oh, 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 oh! Wait! Oh God! No, that's the eject button. Oh! Look at this! Look at that! Look at that! I'll wait. I'll wait. I mean, I kind of have to, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, what if I open it in a different tab? You think that'll... Is that how it works? I used to do that. Do you old folks remember uh, Nintendo Power? How you could call in? When I was little... I thought that if I, so you would call in, right? And they would be, uh, and they, and it was, you get a busy signal. Um, and I would go to different rooms in my parents' house and I would call from different phones. Yeah. You, you chose to come here and watch me. I mean, nobody, nobody forced you. This, I mean, the stream goes no further until that, until that odd number gets rectified. So, you know, if, if you want to do some actual Q&A tonight and you're not subscribed, you, you, you better just go do it. I got all night, man. I got all night. I'm contractually obligated to be here until midnight. <laughs> really? I'm looking at you now, the person that's not subscribed. I'm looking right at you. Everybody's waiting for you. <laughs> now I think YouTube is just screwing with me. Because, I mean... I swear to God, if it goes to 5001, I'm going to stab someone. I'll just make one of you guys unsubscribe. Cut! Don't, don't one of you guys have, like, a second account? Somebody go on your second account. Come on. Come on. Come on, this is important. Oh, 
Oh, wait, you guys probably can't really see me mouthing things because I'm in the small screen. Um, every time it loads, I'm just going to keep clicking refresh. Uh, Dustin Gable saying hi. Zanak is saying congratulations. That's awesome. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. YouTube did the thing. Uh, oh, for God's sakes, YouTube. Why do you do it to me in the chat? Why do you do it? Why do you do it every time? Uh, how helpful is YouTube Studio? Not very helpful, YouTube. It's not updating. I don't think it updates. I don't think it's a live update. It's it, We're probably already there. Um, but until this changes, uh, you guys just have to suffer. Family Guyver says, uh, I will ask people at work to subscribe as much as possible. Don't do that. Guys, don't don't have... Um, I appreciate the, the thought, Family Guyver, but... Um, I try to have, like, the number of subscriptions be real. I, I don't want just, like, random people. Because then eventually those people are going to unsubscribe, you know? And that, that never feels good. Um, but I, I appreciate the sentiment, uh, brother. I don't... I, I, I try really hard to, like, not look at numbers and just just focus on doing good stuff. Um, so this is just for funsies. Uh, but again, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, this is, this is, just, uh, this is just YouTube not updating. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Gem Fan Hobby making it weird. I love it. Carbon Cage is here. Remy Tim saying YouTube now says 5,000. Yeah, but, you know. Uh... <laughs> Come on, you son of a bitch. Todd Tube says, hold on. Um, Rob Axison says, people say it's 5K, but I think that's the metric count. Um... <laughs> metric versus standard uh todd says hello Rumi tim says congrats my friend toxic says Shh, dude am i too loud do i need to turn volume down uh jackalope fpv says which tier gets me a chance at winning the book uh none of them actually <laughs> um and it's not the actual book it's a digital version of the book uh but it's going to be the open to everybody outside of patreon giveaway the fourth giveaway i do um is just like i'll say like to get in this giveaway, it's blah dollars. It's like five dollars or four dollars or six dollars, um, and then you super chat me that amount, and I put you on the wheel, and then I spin the wheel. Um, so yeah, you don't have to join Patreon to do that. Um, Rob Oxen says they offer a digital copy of Flight Dynamics. They do. It's brand new. Uh, that's why you haven't heard of it. Uh, Huff nineteen in the house. He says, "What's up, man? Great stuff today. Thanks for the advice." Can't wait to test out the tunes. What Huff19 is talking about is he hired me over on Fiverr. Watch this. I'm going to go away, and then I'm going to come back, and it's going to be like 5,001, guaranteed. Uh, what you just saw was CiatiFPV.com. There it is. It's got a bunch of different ways that you guys can support me if you want me to keep going and doing this thing full time. Uh, right here, Fiverr. This is very soon going to be replaced with www.fpvinstructor.com, which is going to be my website where I do all this good stuff, flight instruction, tuning, and video editing. Uh, Huff and I spent about an hour on Zoom uh, with this. Where is it at? I will tune your FPV drone for smoothness and stick response. I asked him a bunch of questions related to how he flies, where he flies, what he flies, and then I was able to have him share his screen, bring up Betaflight, and I walked him through filtering. We got his filter set properly for all of those things, like his specific usage. Um, and then we got his PID set up. I actually went through all of Betaflight and found a couple other little things uh, to, to have him change. And uh, yeah, he's going to go out and fly his rig next time, and his brain is going to melt out of his ears because the tune is just going to be that good. Actually, his tune is is not like super 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 dialed in um i backed his tune off a little bit because he is really focusing on learning to fly and by backing your tune off a little bit when you're learning when it's like your first year of flying even up to like two years of flying um it's gonna literally keep you up in the air more and f when you're trying to learn to be a better pilot just flying more is the name of the game um, so yeah, that's what a lot of those questions that I ask in these, uh, sessions 
are sort of geared towards. If, if he'd said to me he's doing cinematic work and he needs absolutely everything to be perfect and no prop wash ever, 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 I would have had him go a little bit more aggressive with the tune, but he didn't tell me that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was able to get him a setup that's going to be absolutely perfect for him, and I can't wait to hear how he likes it. Uh, now you to Youp tube? Now Youpatuba is just screwing with me. Um, Brandon's Baked Beans says, refresh your analytics. How do I do that? Maybe if I click this? I don't know. I don't go in here often. Oh, God. What's that? No, see? Look at this. Updating live. Uh, all right. Whatever. Uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just be at 4,999. Uh... <laughs> Mark A says hello. Rob Axis, we got that. Uh, we got Huff. Uh, we got Brandon. Solvent FPV says, hey, what's too heavy for an Apex HD? I finished mine, and it's all up weight is 575. Um, that is really light. Um, are you sure you don't mean 675, Solvend? Um, because, yeah, 575 is incredibly... Oh, unless you don't have an HD camera on there. Um if you don't have an HD camera on there, then 575 would make sense. Um, but with a GoPro, typically Apex HD is going to be pushing like damn near 700 grams. Um, so yeah, if you don't have a, a HD a GoPro on there, 575 is about right. Yeah, Apex is um, Apex is 120 gram frame, 120 and change, I think. Uh, so like all up with a session five, you're looking at about usually in the 650 range. And then the Apex HD is a little bit heavier. I'm assuming you got the HD because you wanted to put a full-size air unit in it. That's going to add like another 10 or 15. Nah, the frame's going to be a little heavier. That box is going to be heavier. So that's probably going to add like another 20 grams, bring you up to like 670. Um, and then, yeah, I build with pretty light components. So you could even at that point be like 680, 690. Add a hero, you're up over 700. Um, I prefer the glide frame. It's a little over 20 grams lighter. Um, 20 grams is a, is a lot. Uh, the arms aren't as strong, but I actually prefer that. The, the weaker arms on the glide, uh, they break more often and that saves more motors. Motors are 25 bucks a piece. Arms are six or seven bucks a piece. Arms swap out very easily. Motors require soldering. Um, so I would always rather have an arm blow up than a motor blow up. Um, the glide frame is the, in my opinion, the perfect mix of arm strength. They're not too strong. They're not too weak. Uh, the apex is a phenomenal frame. Uh, but yeah, those are just the reasons that I fly a little bit of a lighter, uh, rig. No wrong answers though. Uh, I would, uh, I'm also a, a cheap bastard. <laughs> and the, oh, 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 oh. Thanks guys. 5,024. Look at that. All right, moving on. Was it worth? It? <laughs> Was it worth it? Uh, seriously though, thanks guys. That that's uh, that's very cool. Um, two years ago, uh, so uh, m well here. Look at this. I've had this YouTube channel for twelve years. Um, how can I go to the oldest? So the oldest would have been back in the Cobra days, and I wonder, I think this might be the very first Feb- Oh god, no, 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 don't, okay, good, no copyright stuff. February 1st, 2008. Look at that. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had this channel up forever. Uh, and I made exclusively like car videos because that was my big hobby in the uh, 90s and 2000s. Um, and uh, yeah, in like 10 years of having this channel up, I think I got to like, I don't know, man, like three or 400 subscribers. <laughs> um, and then when the FPV thing started, it, uh, it started ramping up. Uh, but I think like like it, it all st the the FPV stuff really picked up when uh, Joshua came here and we hung out and he said hey let's do a quick live stream, um, and yeah that's what kicked me up uh, over a thousand, and then uh, yeah it's been hard work ever since, <laughs> but.
But, uh, yeah, you just got to put the work in, man. If, if you're ever obsessing over your subscriber count and you really want to make it be a higher number, you got to put the work in. It really does help to collaborate with people and have somebody with a huge following put you on. But you can't really make that, like, you can't just, like, email Joshua and be like, hey, I need you to come and do that for me. Like, it doesn't work like that. Um, you just have to put your head down and grind and put the time in and try to have something about you that's a little bit different, right? Um, so that you're not in such a big pond and, and in such static and noise. Um, and if you just keep doing that over and over and over again for a long enough time, it'll happen. But just focus on making good stuff. That, that's, that's, that's my recommendation. Just, you know, don't obsess over the numbers. If your focus is on making good stuff, um, the numbers will come. Uh, Random says, congrats. Drone Man says, I'm getting motor desync on motor three only. Uh, what could cause this? If, uh, so Drone Man, what you want to do is take the motor off of motor three and swap it with any of the other ones. And if the problem moves with the motor, the motor is the problem. If the problem stays on motor three, then the ESC is the problem. You got to replace the ESC. Um, Zanaka says, hit that like button. Thanks, brother. Forevermore says, how you making out with the snow lately? I live in Atlanta forevermore, and uh, we don't get snow. Well, we got snow last year, but just like three seconds of snow. Well, you know what? We got snow this year, but it didn't stick to the ground. Um, I grew up in New Jersey, and they are buried. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I moved, <laughs> that I moved south. I'm, uh, I'm a skinny guy. And uh, I get cold very easily. And the cold is misery to me. So, uh, yeah, I prefer living closer to the equator. Uh, Rob Axelson says, yep, FP Exchange. Uh, <laughs> Rob Axelson's got four, 1408 motors <laughs> for sale up on FP Exchange. So if you need 1408 motors, head on over to FPV Exchange and uh, see if you can find Rob Axelson's. Uh, Family Guyver says, congrats on 5K. Thanks, brother. Athix says, did you ever use the glass nylon that broke with the slightest hit? Did you? Uh, I did not, Athix. I came I came into this hobby uh, when glass nylon was, like, just being, fa not phased out, but, like, replaced by PC. Um, so, yeah, I've never, I mean, I, I do have a set of, um, of the uh, HQ 5 by four by three glass nylon props that I got when they were like on clearance somewhere, but I, I've never flown them. Uh, I just, I got that one set and I just kept it for the LOLs. Uh, family guy was saying, can, oh wait, no, we got that. Uh, Johnny five in the house. Aver the ham says, I know you don't care, but congrats. Thanks, Aver. Uh, Marek says forever four nine nine nine. Uh, Rabox says, you're going to be watching that 4999 all night. It's like watching water boils. So true. Ruby Tim says, I have three accounts sub to you. I'm not making another. RC Addict says, are you planning uh, to flash us like Joshua Bardville did? Maybe put some props on. No, I will never expose myself to you guys. I promise. That's a, that's a guarantee. You guys will never see my nipples. Frank Nicholas says, I'll subscribe my wife. Thanks, dude. Nevin says, uh, what the hell? I subbed in Bell on the other account. Uh, Rabox says, what if the unsubscribe? I don't know how that works. Um, Johnny5 says, uh, recommended bind and fly four inch long range. Um, I don't really know bind and flies very well because I custom build everything. I also don't know long range stuff uh, very well at all. But from what I see other people talking about, uh, the Flywoo Explorer seems like the one to have. Uh, but don't take my word for it because I just don't. I'm just not into. I'm not into binding flies. I'm not into long range. Um, yeah, and I'm also very green with with four inch stuff. Although everybody kind of is. Uh, Drone Man says I asked a question already. Uh, where'd you ask it, Drone Man? Did I miss it? Uh, Brandon's Baked Bean says, YouTube's trolling you, guess you gotta stop watching the pot before it boils. Ed K says, it's not updating, lol. Uh, Frank Nicholas, oh my god, YouTube, I'm gonna light you on fire and dance around your dead body. Uh, 
Oh. Scrolling back up because YouTube did the thing. That took a turn. Uh, Geo Fairbanks saying, when I look at your channel, it says 5.01. Ed K says, uses a different browser. Ooh, that's what I should have should have done. Jackalope says, your streak says 5K here. Congrats. Uh, Jackalope says, refresh. Your stream says 5K. Uh, Rap Oxison says, well, this is fun. <laughs> Todd Tube subbed on his other account. You guys can all go unsub now <laughs> on, your, on your weird accounts if you want. Frank says, cash issue just subscribed. Uh, uh, right click reload. Nick says, uh, I was using the button, same thing. Uh, Nevin says, it says 5K. Brendan subbed on his wife's account. Uh, Frank says, done. Ooh, that's where I was. Uh, okay, now I can scroll back down. And... Carbon Cage subbed on two more accounts. Thanks, dude. Uh, Frank says, check subscriber account in a different browser. Me, Tim says, check your account on channel, not your channel dashboard. Free Range Chicken says, working on buy the digital version. Um, oh, oh, of the book. Uh... Uh, Apple, uh, book, Apple books, I think that's what it's called, Apple books, <laughs> yeah, it's in the Apple bookstore, Apple books, Apple books, I don't know why I keep saying Apple books, uh, Forevermore says, go to your homepage, Todd Tube says, I'm Todd also, second account, thanks guys, uh, Greg Womack says, thanks to the, for the tip on the upside down board, you're welcome, Greg. Uh, yeah, guys, you can, uh, you can mount your flight controllers upside down, and then you just fix it in the configuration tab. It's super easy. Uh, sometimes that will, uh, give you a little bit of extra space, like if, if the, if the top of the board has a bunch of plug headers on it, as it typically does, right? Sometimes flipping that upside down, you can use a little bit of the extra, like, wasted space in between the flight controller and the ESC for those plug headers. If you've got like a really tight build with like a battery strap that's right on top of the flight controller, you don't want that battery strap touching the, the plug headers or the USB port, so you can flip it upside down and then give yourself a little bit more clearance. Uh, Ruby Tim dropping the link to Fiverr, thanks brother. Diddy FPV says, Ciati, how can I become an affiliate with drone websites? Uh, good question, Diddy. Typically, they come to you. Um, that's how it's really worked for me. Um, tip, you got to kind of have, like, you got to be able to sort of offer that. Like, if, if you're going to reach out to them, you got to be able to, like, offer them something, right? Like, so, so if I was to, just as an example, right, if, um... Well, yeah, when, when I reached out to RDQ to try to get into their affiliate program, I said, hey, here's my uh, YouTube channel. I get uh, 50 to 100 um, live viewers on my uh, Sunday and Monday live streams. Uh, at that time, at, at the time that I emailed them, I was just doing those two live streams. Um, I said, uh, I've got, three, you know, I don't, whatever, 4,162 subscribers. Um, and I just, you got to sell yourself basically, right? You got to give them a reason, um, to, to give, to get you in on that. Um, unfortunately RDQ said, come back when you have 10,000 subs. Um, so yeah, that'll, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but that's okay. Uh, get FPV and, uh, well, Amazon, you just sign up. So Amazon, you can just do, um, uh, oh my God, it's got me set up now. FPV Crate, uh, Banggood, AliExpress. Banggood, you can just sign up. Uh, AliExpress, you can just sign up. So it, it's, yeah, it, it, it sort of varies, but um, like the FPV companies, typically they're going to come to you and, and approach you once, because they have marketing people that are, that are looking for partners. And that's what you need to think of it as, a partnership, because it really is, right? Like, they're giving you the opportunity for discount. They're giving you money, um, and and they're spending time, like, setting you up as an affiliate. Um, so you got to be able to kind of show them, like, hey, I, I have, like, a little bit of a following, or at, at least you want to be able to say, like, I have a plan, right? Like, here's what I'm going to do. It's not just like, hey, set me up with your affiliate program now. Like, that's not going to work. You gotta you gotta sell yourself a little bit. Um, so yeah, do that. Same thing with sponsorships. 
uh, even, although even more so with sponsorships because they're literally sending you free stuff. Um, it has to be a partnership, right? Like, like you have to be able to show them or at least tell them a, a plan that makes them believe that sending you 50 or 100 or $200 worth of gear is going to pay off for them. Um, so just, yeah, just kind of like understand that uh, because that's the only way to get sponsorships, really, right? Is to is for a company to legitimately think that they're going to make money from you. Um, and yeah, just you flying their stuff is typically not enough like it's there's yeah there's got to be more than that good question uh carbon cage says i'll can i swap all my three inch components into a four inch with 1507 motors uh you definitely can but those 1507 motors are going to really struggle with four inch biblade props um if you do that go with four inch uh i meant to say tri-blade props a second ago um if you do this and you go to four inch on 1507 motors, make sure that you go with four inch by blade props, two bladed props, uh, because all of the four inch three bladed props are gonna be way too heavy for those 1507s. Uh, your response time with that little tiny 15 millimeter wide stator is gonna be really bad, and that's just gonna cripple the performance of that rig. Uh, Rab Axison says, this is like, oh wow. <laughs> Greg Womack says, should motors come down more? That's all he said. <laughs> uh, Greg Womack tagged me again. And, uh, hey, here we go. Should motors come down more warm? Should motors come down warm on stock pids? No, Greg. Uh, especially now in the cold. Um, stock pids, your motor should be coming down ice cold. Uh, check your, I think you're on my Patreon, Greg, uh, on my Patreon page at the top, click tech talk. Uh, and there's an article on motor heat, go through that article. It's going to take you step by step by step by step by step on all the things that can, um, lead to the problem that you're having. Basically the problem that you're having is that too many vibrations are making their way into the gyro and there are about a million things, that, not a million, but there's like a dozen things that you got to check. Um, and I have that article and tech tips organized in like most common occurring to least common occurring. So hopefully within the first couple, you'll find the issue. Um, do not fix that problem by crippling the PID tune even further. Uh, that is a mechanical problem. The problem could be that the motors that you're running are too notchy. This is one of the real big issues with Kagi notchy motors. Um, is that even on stock pids, they're just hopeless. Um, so yeah, if, if you, if when you take your, if when you take your, uh, your motor like this and you spin it by, by hand, it should not be like really notchy. It should be nice and smooth like this. See how easy this is to, to kind of turn. It should not be going like eh, 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 with like really defined, uh, notches. I do have a video, a fully edited video here on the channel called Testing Motor Notchiness, which talks more about that. And it even gives you a way of quantifying your motor notchiness uh, with your cell phone because most cell phones have a slow motion mode, which has like 240-ish frames per second. And that's, that's enough frames per second to see motor notchiness. And in that edit, I show you a lot of different examples of it. Uh, great question. Tiago says, check the Discord live channel. I'm afraid to now. Um, uh, be oh, okay. It was probably related to 5,000. B-Man says 5,000. Congrats, bro. Thank you, dude. Uh, B-Man also says, what was that? A celebratory 5K giveaway tonight. Um, oh, wait. Look, it's like 1040 already. Okay. I'm going to get caught up on chat full speed because when I don't get caught up on chat before the giveaways, it's a nightmare. So, Everybody stop tagging me for a minute or two here. Let's get caught up. Uh, Guillermo says, I'm 99 subs only. Somebody go sub to Guillermo. Uh, Ram Donko says, hi all, 5K smash. Nice one. Thank you, brother. Uh, Drone Pilot says, it's because of CIDF review that I use gem fan props. Hell yeah. Rumi Tim says, uh, catch John Eska in the chat. Uh, John E, where you at? Uh, there he is. What's up, Johnny? How are you, man? 
Uh, hey, uh, wait, we're, we were doing a contest thing? Who did, uh, I hope you won. Um, don't even tell me. I'm just gonna assume that you won. Um, uh, Remy Tim, we got that. Uh, Drone Man FPV says, thanks, I'll try that. Uh, ENS says, iFlight Sedora SL5 versus Nazgul 5 V2 versus Diatone Roma F5. Ian, um, I don't know the, the bind and flies, uh, but Joshua does, and Joshua has a video uh, that I helped him do the research on with uh, two of those, maybe three of those. Uh, so yeah, check out, it's from like a month or so ago. Uh, yeah, check out Joshua's channel, he's got a comparison of those, and uh, yeah, I, I just don't, I, nobody sends me binding flies, and I can't afford them, so I just, I don't know bounded flies, so you don't want to... I'm, I'm just not going to give advice out of my butt. Uh, Guillermo says, send me your address. I send you glass nylon for you to fly. No, Guillermo. No. I don't want your... I don't want... I don't, the last thing I need is is glass nylon props. I break PC props like it's like I'm doing it on purpose. Forevermore says, never say never. Very true. Uh, YouTube. Scrolling back up. Mm, God, come on, YouTube. I just want to get caught up, YouTube. Why do you do the thing in the chat? YouTube, to for anybody that's new, YouTube at random zips the chat all the way to the bottom on me, and then I have to scroll back up to try to find my place because, God forbid, I don't read every single person that tags me. Uh, I would just, I don't know, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Uh, there I was. Geo Fairbank says, I love the Seattle. Won't expose myself. Guarantee. Congrats on 5K. Thanks, brother. Wooden Prop says, Congrats and many more. Gem Fan says, Foss Nipples. Congrats. <laughs> seen over on OnlyFans. Not true. Avery the Ham says, uh, Never gonna see them. Neps while I'm out of here. Unsubscribing. <laughs> Enjoy 4,999 forever. Orga says, Bardwell has a, a video comparing four four inch long range rigs. Very true. Good call, Orga. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, he does. Joshua also has, a, I mean, let's be honest. He's got videos on everything. That guy is the hardest working dude in FPV, hands down. Rob Axon says, try this. Pause the stream when you go to the bathroom, then play it at 1.5x speed to catch up. Wow, it's fun. Yeah, a lot of people uh, play live streams on one and a half times or two times. Uh, I can't handle it. I, I, ju I just... I, I, yeah, I just can't handle the way people's voices sound at, at double speed. Um, Greg Womack says, how would you suggest starting? Uh, I think I found a niche. Uh, Greg, do me a favor, uh, copy and paste that after the giveaways and, and we'll talk more about it. Ed K says, don't tell them to unsub the other accounts and we'll go back to 4999. Uh, Leadfinger says, love to see the stream blowing up. Everybody drop a like for Ciati. Only 50% of current watchers have so far. Thanks, Leadfingers. Uh, forevermore, yeah, uh, click buttons down here if you'd like. Uh, YouTube likes it. Forevermore says, got to work on getting more subscribers then. Uh, uh, all right, all right, all right. iFly says, congratulations. This is my first time posting on your stream, but I watch your stream and your great content. Fly 5-inch, what would you recommend for in-house flying? Thank you. iFly FPV, uh, just get a Mobula 6, man. I, like, the, the it's so cheap. Get it with the 25,000 kV motors. Um, it's not the best, but for $80, like... It's it's just for eighty bucks. It's so good. It's so good for eighty dollars. Like you can't build a Mobula Six for eighty dollars by yourself. Like it's crazy. Um, I, I would love to like recommend the the newbie drone Acrobe, but it's out of stock and like it's way more than eighty dollars. Like it, it's the the Mobula Six with the twenty five thousand kV motors is is just. It's just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. The the value is is absurd. And like the only thing I really don't like about it is the frame. So then you spend three whole dollars on a newbie drone cockroach frame or a beta FPV Meteor 65 frame, and you've got the best tiny whoop that you can build. It it's really silly. Um Yeah. I, I wish I had a more exciting recommendation for you, but I would be uh 
I would be remiss in in recommending anything other than that rig. It's just so good. Gem Fan Hobby says a sponsorship is a bet from the company. That's a really cool way to put it. Also, uh, a responsibility on the pilot slash creator. Um, that's so true. Yeah, it is. It is literally a company placing a bet on you that you're gonna work. Um, to, you're gonna work off the the value of the stuff that they send you. Um, that's such a good way, but yeah, and, and very, the, the second part of that is what I think a lot of people forget, which is that you take on a responsibility to then do that, right? Like you take on the responsibility to then work like, Hey, get to work. Um, and that's what I think people kind of don't really wrap their heads around and then they don't do the work. And then guess what? The company never sends them more. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's about partnering up with with a company that you hopefully believe in right like that's kind of the other thing um for me it's it's always sort of been like if like if hglrc i hate to pick on them but they're easy to pick on if hglrc said like hey we want to sponsor you i would say no maybe they they sent me um some of their stuff i i <laughs> i poked fun of at them on on facebook and their response was to message me and say, hey, we want to send you some stuff. And I was like, wow, that's ballsy. Um, but then when I really thought through it, I was like, well, what am I going to do, bash on them more? Like, it's kind of a zero-sum gain. I guess they looked me up on YouTube and saw I had a little bit of a following. Um, up, so hopefully this stuff, I'm going to be doing a rip squeak build, uh, another rip squeak build here, hopefully this week. Um, and I'm going to build it with this stuff that HGLRC sent me. And we're going to take a look. If that stuff is good, this would change. But right now, I haven't had a great experience with their stuff. So if they contacted me and said, hey, we want to sponsor you, I would say no. And that's, like, that's important, right? Because, like, just taking any sponsorship for stuff that you don't like or that's not good doesn't make any sense, right? Like, it just perpetuates a cycle of negative... Let's move on. We got to do giveaways. Uh, Rob Oxen says, War motors on stock pids, uh, check motor screws being too long. That's one of the things on the, um, uh, in that. Oh, if, uh, whoever I was, whoever asked about the war motors, if you're not on my Patreon page, uh, just message me at CIDFPV on like Instagram or Facebook or wherever, uh, and remind me that question and I will, uh, copy and paste that, uh, that post for you from Patreon so that you can troubleshoot it. Uh, Maniac, uh, says my hair looks good. Thanks, brother. Uh, oh my god, it did it again, it did it again, it did it again! Ooh, I'm much closer to the bottom this time, though. Uh... ENS says, what props get in GoPro shot with a Truex... F will props get in the GoPro shot with a Truex frame? Uh, Ian, it depends on which Truex frame. It depends on uh, the up tilt of your GoPro mount. Uh, the glide frame, for example, has a very long nose, so it pushes the GoPro and the FPV camera forward pretty far. Uh, and with a 30 degree GoPro mount, you just get like the tiniest little bit of props in the, the HD. It also depends if you run wide or super view or linear. Um, so there's there's a lot of different things that go into it. Uh, but typically, with Truex on a 30 degree mount, uh, you will get a little tiny bit. Um, go on my channel and watch any of my edits. Every single one of my edits is flown with a glide frame with a little bit of prop in view. And eventually, you'll notice it but you will not believe how hard it is to pick it out. Uh, the key is to run gray or black propellers in the front. Uh, and then even if you have a little bit of them, you just don't, you just don't notice it. Uh, Rabbox says, yes, 1408 equals notchy. Not always, but typically, yeah. Um, because 1408s are a race motor and race motors don't need to be smooth. Um, so yeah, most 1408s are notchy. I've actually never come across a 1408 that's not, but I don't want to talk in absolutes. You can, you can make a 1408 that's not notchy. How about that? Uh, Aerial Raider says, what are you giving away today? I'm going to show you in a minute. Optimized Drone says, what's up? Dauntless says, how do you like the Session 4? It's very amazingly priced on eBay, but I want to know, uh, 
uh, but I want to know if the five is the only way to go. Uh, the, the quality of this session four is pretty shitty. I, I have a, a couple uh, recent edits on my channel. The, the one that I played at the, the beginning of this was session four. Um, it, it's, it, it, it looks like ass. Uh, but if it's cloudy out and you're just bombing around a parking lot, it's a really it's half the price of a session five. Um, but if you're flying anywhere, that you might want the footage to be decent, it's got to be a Session 5. The, the difference in, in quality between those two cameras is staggering. Um, but again, I fly a lot in just boring parking lots with boring sky, and I'm never going to do anything with that footage other than like maybe show it to you guys, and for that, the, here, the Session 4 is absolutely perfect. Um, now that we can't get any kind of damage protection, um, yeah, it makes a big deal. Diddy FPV says, why 25,000? Uh, the biggest issue with Tiny Whoops is a lack of power. So going up in KV um, is the easiest solution to that. Uh, the other reason, the big reason, is that now with Betaflight 4.2, we've got motor scaling. So not buying the highest possible KV is sort of dumb. <laughs> um, because... If you have too much KV, you just motor scale it down. And then if at some point you want more power, you have it available. Versus if you don't buy the highest KV motor, you're capped. And you can never go up, right? You can you can always go down, but you can never go up. Um, but I run the 25,000s at 100% on the uh, Tiny Whoops, and they just it's just incredible. Todd Tube says, what's the best motor size for 4-inch tri-blades? 2004, Todd. Uh, and if you want to run those on 4S, uh, get the Brother Hobby. Brother Hobby VY 3500 KV 2004 is phenomenal. Um, it, it's just scary. It, 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 the performance is amazing. Nabi says, just notice the MC Touch. MC Touch. MC Touch. What's the MC Touch? Uh, iFly says, thank you, my friend. I'll be asking more questions, but Mobula 6 it is. Sounds good. You're going to love it. Um, I fly. If it shows up and it doesn't work, don't troubleshoot it. Just send it back. The, as you can probably guess, it being so cheap, the quality control is not the best. So buy it from GetFPV. Uh, if, if you buy it from GetFPV, use my affiliate link if you don't mind. It's over at CIDFPV.com. Uh, or uh, Pyrodrone. Those are the two U.S. shops that I've had the best luck with on customer service. Uh, and that way, yeah, if you get it out of the box and it doesn't run, or if you put a couple batteries through it um, and it blows up, you have a really good chance of those guys helping you out and, and sending you a new one. Rob Axison says, HGLRC has gotten better. My fingers are crossed, Rob. I, I'm really, really hoping that this rip squeak is good um, because I really like the pad layout on their F7 flight controller, and it's looking like my beloved... Uh, Acon V1.1 F7 mini flight controllers are gone for, I think they're discontinued. Uh, so I need to find a new flight controller and I would love for it to be this, this HGLRC because yeah, the pad layout is, is real good. Uh, Forevermore says HGLRC puts their money where their mouth is. I mean, they did with me, man. Um, Unless that was supposed to be a joke. So, uh, C. Young 300 with a $10 super chat. Bro, thanks so much. Uh, he says, thank you for all you do for this hobby. Um, thank you for allowing me to do this, C. Young. How about that? Uh, much appreciated, man. Very, very cool of you. Uh, Del Squatcher says, bollocks. I love the word bollocks. Remy Tim with the last comment before we dive into the uh, giveaways. Diddy FPV, welcome to the collective, bud. Uh, it's not a CID FPV stream if we don't get insulted. If we don't all get insulted and threatened, <laughs> I don't threaten you guys much. I, I uh, anymore. I I miss it. I gotta. I use when would I? I used to, there was a. There was a time that I used to threaten you guys like. Oh, I would tell you to do something, or I'll stab you in public. Um, I forget what it was. I forget when I used to. Threaten you guys. Uh, giveaway time. Ah! That's the goat. Uh, what we do, so I need to click some buttons to put everybody on the wheel for the giveaways. So what we do is reward the awesome Patreon folks by going over to my Discord channel 
And I've got a uh, text channel here called The Video Collective, which is only available to Patreon folks. And what I do is I copy and paste, and I have to mute it because YouTube hates it when you don't. Uh, <laughs> Daniel Maurer posted his video three seconds ago. He knows how it works. There we go. Pause it. And I usually need three. Metal Dirt Skin is getting in. Here we go. And... All right, cool. So I'm going to play these three awesome Patreon videos from people that want me to keep on going. Oh, the Minecraft torch. Nice, Navi. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, I always do the, the, the last three because I'm, I'm lazy. So there's your cheat code. If you want to get your video played, you got to post it right before the Monday giveaway streams. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play these, uh, three videos for you guys with some music from Epidemic Sound so I don't get thrown in jail forever. And when I come back, I will have the giveaways ready. We'll look at what the stuff is and then people will win things. What do you think of that? Uh, suggestions for you. All right, Epidemic Sound, it better be good. Clicking this, going over here, playing the first of these, and I'll be back in a few. Enjoy some flying. Chomper, my man.
right, people, I am ready to go. Three awesome little edits. You guys are killing it, man. That was great. Um, head on over to the Discord channel and check those out in full quality. Chomper, did you did, did you really... Was that uh, effect? Or was that... Uh, did you do that? Really in the snow? That's a, How the hell did you get that? That's that's insane. I think you did. It didn't. I don't think that was fake. Um, uh, epidemic sound, go away. Okay, good. Uh, you guys ready? First up, we've got the Tiny Whoop and Toothpick tier. And as we took a look earlier, it's going to be a two-inch pickpocket frame. Uh, the little canopy. It's got a uh, Caddx Ant camera in there and these awesome little Gep RC 2-inch proc ducts. Uh, this was donated by T-Bird. Everybody give uh, T-Bird a shout out. And uh, yeah, very, very cool of them. And then uh, shout out to GemFan for sending over a big old sponsored box of props. Uh, this is all of the really good... Um, uh, Tiny Whoop and, like, Tiny Cine Whoop uh, propellers. And we've got that wheel right here to go there. Ready the go. Oh, yeah, here's, uh, here's your proof of entry. I'm going to go fast. You guys can rewind. So if you really want to check. But, I mean, I just kick out a CSV from... Uh, from Patreon. So if you're if you're active over on my Patreon, you're you're in here. And there you go. There's your proof of entry. Ready? Go and go. We're gonna fill up this wheel at some point here, and it's gonna happen soon. And I don't know what. To, I guess we just have to stop using the wheel. Matthew Kazmucha, congratulations, my man. I'm gonna send you a message over on Patreon. Uh, to get your address and send you some stuff. I just need to write down your name. Last name is K-A-Z-M-U-C-H-A. Congratulations. That's not a U. K-A-Z-M-U-C-H-A. Good. Can you guys not, like, write anymore? Because, like, we don't write things down. Like, do you find it impossible to write things down? Or do you guys still write things down? How many times can one man say, write things down? Uh, next up, we've got the three inch micro brushless and, uh, and, uh, um, what are they called? Cinewoop tier. Uh, we've got a set of the Beta FPV 1505 3600 KV motors with an extra bell. And again, from GemFan, uh, this is all of the really good Cinewoop props. The, the D76 five blades, uh, the three blade version of the three inch. Uh, there's even some two and a half inch props in here. They're, they're 2512s. A uh, bunch of really good props. Thank you, GemFan. Very kind of you. Uh, I'm going to come in here. Here comes your proof of life. Going to go quick because you can rewind. There you go. And ready the goat. Somebody's going to win some motors and some props. And that person is Aber the Ham. Congratulations, Aber. I'm going to write your name down here. Send you a message over on Patreon. A, B, oh boy, E, R. Awesome. Way to go. Not that, you know... You, like, did anything, per se. <laughs> Wait, that's not true. Of course you did something. You were a, an awesome follower that uh, that saw the potential in your boy gangly crazy hair man. Uh, Five-inch tier is, is just a... Oh, no. Please, no. OBS, please, no. Oh... Uh, I can't use my keystrokes for the rest of the night because OBS can eat me. Uh, five inch tier is just a whole bunch of stuff. We've got a whole bunch of these. Um, I don't. I don't know if you can get these anymore. These are the crazy cosmic uh, Gemfan 5143 propellers. Uh, we've got some of the Gemfan 3D propellers. 
you, you guys realize that we can all do 3D, right? Like, you flip, like, two switches, and, and you can try 3D. These are the propellers that GemFan specifically designed for 3D, so whoever wins this, you're going to get, like, super guilt-tripped into trying 3D. Because, I mean, you'll have the propellers, and you can just turn it on in, like, a minute, so you might as well, right? Uh, a set of the uh, the arm skids that you can put the uh, the LEDs in, which is super cool. Uh, this is from T Bird as T Bird as well. It is a uh, full size VTX with SMA. Uh, it's the Xylo one, 25 to 600 milliwatts. Um, SMA uh, uh, right hand circular polarized Axi two antenna. I think T Bird, yeah, it's from T Bird as well. He hooked you guys up. And one more thing from T-Bird, uh, an XT60 uh, parallel board, always nice to have. Uh, a set of the GemFan floppy proppies, the 5135s out of my own personal stash. And yeah, and a scale um, for you five inch, because I'm gonna make all you five inch people pay more attention to weight because we do fly things that, we, do, we are flying, right, you know? When you're flying, you should pay attention to weight. So if you're not, now you got no excuse. Uh, here's the five inch tier. Here comes your, oh God, it's so frustrating not to be able to use the keystrokes. Oh, wah, wah. Here's your proof of entry. Ready? Somebody's gonna win, I'm gonna write their name down, and then my nose will stop bleeding. I'm just kidding, it's not bleeding. Travis Easterday, congratulations, my man, you have won. I'm gonna write your name down somewhere. I'm gonna write it down right here. Travis, S-T-E-R-D-A-Y, can I read that? It doesn't look like an S. Okay, now I can read that. Uh, I'll message you over on Patreon. Travis, congratulations. Now we're going to do the giveaway that is open to all. And here's how it's going to work. So, uh, this is going to be a giveaway for... There's Travis. Uh, Travis, you can just uh, message me on Patreon if you want uh, with your first name, last name, address, uh, and your email address so I can send you some tracking. Um... The shirts, this shirt, oh. this shirt that I'm wearing uh, is medium because I'm a little fella. Uh, this one here is an extra large. So hopefully whoever wins is an extra large. Um, it's the same exact shirt. Uh, Rick Zapata and FPV Exchange uh, got together, and uh, which is Nevin. Uh, in the chat, uh, got together and uh, made three of these things and sent them on over for you guys. So thanks, Rick. Thanks, Nevin. You guys are awesome. Uh, also, we've got some Umagrip Light. We've got a set of the uh, two-inch ducted uh, gem fan propellers. We've got a little TBS smoke, smoke stopper. Um, here's the shirt. And... Uh, it's going to be a digital copy of this book. And I'm going to send you a PDF over with all the, the info and whatnot. Uh, win the shirt off, see how he's back. Yeah, Dustin. Um, this is mine. You can't have this one. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to get you a, a digital copy of that, which you're going to love. Uh, that book, this, this FPV Dynamics book, is, is insane. Like, it's really, really, really well done. Um, if you want to support the author of the book, uh, his Instagram name is Vespula, and I'm going to drop a link on your guy's head right now. There's a link. Go show the man some love, uh, and you can also ask him where to get the digital copy of the book. Uh, Christian is a super cool guy that did a hell of a job on this book. And the fact there's a digital version of it now is super awesome. Um, so, uh, Ram Dongo says, did Aber's comment get deleted so can't say thanks? No. I don't know. Moderators, you doing? what are you doing? 
Don't moderate. Let people curse. It's okay. Uh, and it's also going to be a set of Tweet FPV uh, transmitter skateboard grip tape grips, uh, which are just, just wonderful. And if and and you can even get them in super secret Ciati FPV purple and and red now. Um, so yeah, get you a set of those and. Um, Promo codes. Okay, we're good. Yep, so here's how it's gonna work. You can either, so YouTube takes 30%. If you don't want YouTube to take 30%, what you can do is go to ciadifpv.com, scroll to the bottom, and there's a PayPal button. Um, and you can do that, and you can send me, so we're gonna do, uh, I don't know, five, five bucks. Okay, so for a $5 PayPal, I'll put you on the wheel, or you can do a super chat here for five, and I'll put you on the wheel. If you send 10, I'll still only put you on the wheel once, but I'll say thank you. That's, that's worth an extra $5, isn't it? Um, so yeah, $5 super chat or $5 PayPal, and I'll put you on the wheel, we'll spin the wheel, and one of you will win all this stuff. And then, yay, thanks, Rumi Tim. Uh, Rumi Tim dropping a link to uh, Tweet's shop over on Etsy where he has all of the grips. Um, so, yeah, whoever wins this, you're just going to email a specific email address that I tell you, and you're going to tell Tweet uh, that you won tonight. And uh, he confirms with me. And, yeah, things happen. Uh, so, oh, that the, 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 all this stuff giveaway is officially opened. Get your Super Chats in. Get your PayPal.me's in. I'm going to open my email here, and I'm going to get a wheel going, and all right, here's the wheel, B-Man getting in first, then William Barlow, uh, let me start doing the, you guys tell me, so I used to, I, the, the deal used to be, if you send five bucks, I'll put you on the wheel once. If you send 10 bucks, I'll put you on the wheel twice. And I stopped doing that. I don't know why. I, I, I just stopped doing it. Should I do that again? Do you guys, is, do you guys want that? I don't know. Is that a thing? Uh, Drone Man says that's not winning, that's buying. I mean, you're buying an entry, but then the entries get, uh, get randomized. Um... At the people's request, this was this was started by suggestions from you guys. So I'm I just do what you guys tell me to. Don't blame me. Don't blame the messenger. I don't know. Uh, it's a fun way for us to you know raise some money together because I put a lot of the money right back into the giveaway items and um, all the research that I do and the stuff that I um, buy to test and whatnot. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's somewhat fair, but I have the most to gain from it, so I'm, uh, I'm the, uh, uh, what's the word? I'm very biased. There we go. That's the word. Um, all right. Let me start getting you guys on the wheel. B-Man is getting in there. Uh, William Barlow is getting in there. Hold on. Okay. Now I got a bunch of speed. What? Oh. It highlighted the wrong thing. <laughs> Tried to copy and paste somebody's name and it pasted five ninety nine. I was like, wait, what? Or four ninety nine? Mavic Havoc, he's getting in there. Thanks for everything, Seattle. Would love a digital copy of the book. All right, Mavic, you are here. Rob Axison says it won't add one cent. I'll uh, I'll bill you for it, Rob. <laughs> Only if you win, though. Uh, Private Island FPV with six Canadian. Oh, damn it! I said it wrong. <laughs> I tried to, I, I, there was a stream a while ago where, uh, it was very late. That's, that's my excuse. And, uh, somebody sent Canadian dollars and I just saw CA and I said Californian. Um, so then I, I started to, uh, I started to make the joke and, and say Californian dollars. And apparently now we've come full circle where I wanted to say the joke. I wanted to say Californian dollars just now, but. I accidentally said Canadian dollars, which is, which is actually the, 
You guys know what I mean. Uh, all right. Getting into my emails here. And... Come on, email. There we go. Okay, first one was Daniel Maurer. He goes on the wheel. And... Wait, here, I'll show this view. Oh, God, I did try to show this view, but... OBS is a heaping pile of dog mess. Abe Farhat sends five dollars. He's going on the wheel. Thank you, Abe. And then we've got a little bit of Travis Easter Day. He goes on the wheel. And damn, Nevin sends twenty dollars through PayPal. Siati at 5K tonight, we witness history. Thank you so much, Nevin. Very, very kind of you. I'm going to put you on the wheel once, and then I'm going to spend the other $15 on cocaina. <laughs> I swear I don't spend this money on cocaine, guys. Look at my nose. It's, it's, it's fine. Uh, Frank Nicholas sends $10. He says, just because. Thank you, Frank. Very cool of you. You're going to go on the wheel once, and I'm going to spend your other $5 on a hooker. So I gotta have both hookers and blow. That's how it works. John Ray sends five dollars. Metal Dirt Skin, thank you, my man. You go on the wheel. Uh, Private Island, I got you on there. Wooden Props with a nine ninety nine super chat. He says a little extra to allow for YouTube doing the thing. Very kind of you, Wooden Props. Uh, Thirty more seconds to get on in, and then we're gonna spin this wheel, and we will launch back into some more Q and A. Uh, let me get caught up on the chat a little bit here. Drone Man says, Ciati FPV free. What's that mean? Um... <laughs> Jeremy Hawkins says, I'll take your shirt. Michigan has nine inches of snow. I'm cold. I, I, man, I can't tell you guys enough how, how much I don't miss the snow. <laughs> Rob Oxenson says, once is fine. By the way, I have the book and it's great. Um... Uh, I've, I've yet to hear one single person say that they didn't like, love the book. Uh, Athic says, Tweet FPV does multi buy-ins. I wonder if he got that idea from me. Uh, <laughs> Gem Fan Hobby says, For $10 a place on the wheel and them nip picks. <laughs> well, that's what says, Enter via PayPal. Captain Big Tooth Gangly Sato says, It's because you're a cheeseburger human. <laughs> Canadian dollars. Thank you, imposter. Much appreciated. Mavic Havoc says, This is exhilarating. Schnob says what's up, and uh, 10 or so more seconds, and I'm going to spin the wheel. We've probably got everything going in. Let me just come over here to my email and click get mail. Not that I ever think that that works. Uh, let me read the, the chats real quick that didn't tag me. Um, B-Man says double up. Toxic says I prefer limited entry. Uh, so thus far, we're pretty much 50-50. Um... Uh, be, do, 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 do. William Barlow says, uh, it doesn't matter either way. Mavic Havoc says, if this money is going back to us, then maybe that's okay. Uh, I mean, not all of it, Mavic, but yeah, a lot. Of, when, when, when there's a giveaway item that I don't like specifically say, like, shout out to so-and-so for donating this, then I bought it. Um, and yeah, support is support. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's. I try to kind of walk the line of, of like, fair, but, you know, roof up there. Um, and this is one of the ways that I've been doing it, and I just always like to kind of ask you guys to weigh in to make sure, you know, that it remains fair. That's all. Uh, 20 showers. Okay, we got that. Uh... <laughs> Private Islands has got to hurry before the exchange rate changes. Um, here we go. License to drive and <laughs> and the imposter. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, I think my email is caught up. We are going to spin this wheel once I put the imposter on the wheel. Uh, I can feel it. The imposter is going to win. Tonight's his night. All right, here we go. Um, goat at the ready. Here we go. Somebody's getting a shirt, skateboard grips, a book, some random stuff. 
And it's Nevin from FPV Exchange. <laughs> Nevin, do you want your shirt back? <laughs> or should or should I respin it? I have a feeling Nevin's gonna have me respin. Um uh Nevin, let let me yeah, what what am I respinning for? <laughs> this is, is it just the shirt or the the grip tape or the two inch props or the, the thing or the book? Um I think Nevin's in here, right? Uh when was the last time Nevin posted? <laughs> Although I I don't know Nevin did did you not did did um, Rick send you one of these shirts this might be kind of perfect um, if if Nevin doesn't have one of these shirts this will be great um, so let me let me hang on for a second for Nevin to uh, ah Raven Tim says I don't hold on let me uh, let me message him on Facebook uh, awesome all right hang on a second guys. If you haven't been over there, head on over to FPV Exchange and sign up. It's free. It's a super cool website. I know that you've got a ton of stuff just sitting there that you're not using. Go sell it, and then you can buy something new and exciting. Um, Nevin. Come on, wait, wait. You want... Do you want this shirt, or should I re-spin? All right, cool. Uh, let's give Nevin a second to get back to me. Gem fan says everything hey, exactly. We did. <laughs> no nips, no sup. <laughs> Jesus. B man says more entries just gives more incentive for people to put more money into the channel. Yeah, that's why I originally did it, B man. But I, I, I think at some point, like I don't know, I felt weird and stopped. Ah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I don't have the answers. Uh, Free Lojo says, and Ciadi FPV has a link here. Link tree Ciadi. Thank you for that. Free Lojo. Rick Zapata says, Nevin has two shirts just like you do. Okay, so I'm going to assume that Nevin wants me to respin for the shirt since he's already got two of them. Uh, so let me just write down Nevin's info here. And I'm going to put that there. Okay. Uh, let me just follow up. Spinning, spinning again for the shirt. Uh, email tweet fpv at gmail.com to claim your uh, grip tape. Awesome. Uh, somebody's going to win just this shirt. You know what? Uh, and uh, so Christian who wrote FPV Flight Dynamics, he actually gave me multiple uh, licenses for the ebook version of his book. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a second one. I, whenever, whenever people give me stuff to give away, if they give me multiples, I try to space it out over as many giveaways as possible to give them the most sort of bang for their buck. There's Nevin. Um, uh, but he he said I could do as many per like night as I wanted to. So yeah, we'll take this opportunity to give away a second copy of that book. So again, go check out Vespula's uh, Instagram channel. Give him a like. Oh, that's not it at all. <laughs> that's uh, that's copied and pasted from, from filling up the wheel. Here comes a link again. Uh, another huge shout out to uh, Vespula FPV for A, making such an awesome book, B, making a digital version of the damn thing, and C, donating a bunch of the digital copies. So let's see who wins. Uh, a shirt sponsored by FPV Exchange and Rick Zapata, and a copy of FPV Flight Dynamics, an e copy of FPV flight dynamics. Here we go. I'm, oh my God. I remember. Uh, I'm gonna remove Nevin so that he doesn't win again. And here we go. Somebody's getting a shirt and a book. I feel so old. It's William Barlow. Congratulations, my man. William, you got some work to do. Um, argh. William, uh, I need you to shoot me a message on either Facebook or Instagram at CIDFPV. I need you to say, hey, 
it's William Barlow. Here's what I need you to really do. I need you to say, hey, it's William Barlow. I won the shirt, and I won the the digital book thingy, and uh, here's my address for the shirt, and here's my email address, and that's all I need. And I'll send you some stuff, man. There you are. You're damn right. It's awesome. Thanks, everybody. Uh, as always, the giveaways were fun. But now we got to get back to FPV. Hit me with those questions. This is your weekly Q&A stream. I don't do any work on the bench. I just hang out with you awesome people. Uh, looks like I've been tagged a bunch here, so let me scroll up. And uh, let's get caught up here. Gem fan says, we dare you read it out loud. <laughs> Nevin says, uh, give a shirt along. Mike has some for me already. Awesome. Uh, Forevermore is out of here. Thanks for hanging, brother. Uh, there's the Sato. He says, leave me alone. <laughs> Crouchy, angry, and better than everyone else. Oh, no. Don't don't say that. You, you can't be my... You can't be an imposter if you're... If you're that, uh, I mean, I, I hope I'm not that, uh, I don't know, what's the word for thinking you're better than everyone else? I'm not better than anyone. I mean, I, I think I'm kind of worse than everyone, but you know, Vicious Stitches is out of here. Thanks for hanging, brother. Uh, come on. I'm caught up on the chat. What are you guys doing? Come on. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, all right, while I'm waiting for that, let me click a couple buttons here. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, no. What's, uh... Oh! Joshua sent me something. Uh, that I just thought it was an ESC, but he said uh, he's got to send me instructions on how to download the configurator. So this must be some kind of fancy new thing that doesn't use BL Heli 32. I wonder if I should be saying any of this out loud. <laughs> Moving on before I say something I shouldn't have, uh, or I shouldn't. Uh, Freeloader says, congratulations to everyone, whether you won or not. Uh, the CID FPV Collective is now 5K strong. Yes, it is, Freelojo. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait, no, here. Let me get this out of here. Oh, hi, kitten. How are you? Did you come to claw my face again? Or did you come to be on the screen? The scream. Great. I mean, kind of is. I, it's, I just sort of do that for two hours. All right, here you go. Oh. Oh. Have you guys ever seen a better looking, more expensive cat than this? What is his face? Why do you look so angry? Oh, thank you for blinking. That means you don't hate me. Look at them. Oh. What a good little dude. Look at them so they can see your crazy white eyeliner. Look at this cat. Look at him. Don't you want this cat to be able to eat his very expensive food? <laughs> Subscribe to my Patreon. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's okay. Shh, nobody breathe. Okay, 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 okay. All right, hang on, guys. I'm allergic to cats. Uh. All right. Maybe I won't have an allergy attack. Um, all right, cool. Uh, I need to pull this off of the screen because if I accidentally share my screen, you guys will get to see the code for the ebook of FPV Flight Dynamics. And... Hey, there's some questions. License to Drive says, what am I doing? Waiting for my four shark bite cameras and VTXs. Damn, DHL sent them 2,400 kilometers in the wrong direction over the weekend. Uh, 
Well, that's good. That that makes us all feel better about USPS, I guess. DHL is just as bad. Uh, Rob Oxison says, getting some stick time on the flow state sim. Very cool. Uh, uh, or no, Rob Oxison said that. B-Man says, question, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center, the Tootsie Pop? Uh, three, right? I think it's three in the commercial. Uh, Leadfinger says, do you mind if I listen to your live stream while streaming my sim practice? Anyone watching... Uh, would hear your audio. Nope, that's totally cool, Lead Fingers. Um, yeah, I mean, all you for for the record, right? Um, that's super cool of you to ask, Lead Fingers. Um, so here's how YouTube works, right? So um, if I, I think what Lead Fingers is doing is he's streaming at the moment. It sounds like he's streaming his sim practice, and then watching me in the background, right? So my audio is getting piped into his YouTube stream. So what YouTube is gonna do is it's gonna send me a copyright notice that, actually it doesn't send it to me, it just puts it in like a section of your um, of your YouTube studio thing. Um, and it's gonna say, uh, so lead fingers, uh, use your content on so and so date. And there's a button that, that like brings you right to it so that you can look at it, right? And unfortunately, YouTube like doesn't want to it really sucks like they've taken the stance of like not wanting to be involved and they give you this they give me in this case this option to click a button to basically start a lawsuit against lead fingers right and and so this is what happened to me a few months ago um, when I played somebody's little uh, pid loop uh, machine simulator video on my stream um, like over a year ago, I did that on a stream. Um, and the, the, so like it, it, basically what then happens is that my stream got shut off. And if that person doesn't react, my, my ability to stream goes away for 90 days. So, I mean, it basically like bankrupts the, the, the streamer, right? Um, it's, it's a really bad system. Um, and it's the main reason why when I play your guys' videos, I, I mute out the audio. Um, and, and, like, I'm not willing to do any different because, like, yeah, this is my livelihood. Like, the ability to stream is really important to me. Um, so, yeah, le that that's why Lead Fingers is asking. It's super cool for him to ask. But all that being said, if you guys want to use my content, just use it. It's all good. I'm, I'm, I, there's, like... If, if you use my content, I will be happy and, like, honored that someone thought something that I made was good enough to, like, be shared. Um, so, yeah, for the record, um, you guys can always use my stuff. If you want to ask me, awesome. It'll make me feel that much cooler. Um, but if, if you want to use one of my clips for something, go forth and, and uh, yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm not going to be that guy. Uh, yeah. Ram Donko says, thanks for the AIO thoughts and advice. Uh, looking at a Cinerat today. Uh, sounds good, Ram. Uh, let me know if you have any other uh, questions. Athix says, uh, are you going to try BlueJ ESC firmware? Uh, Athix, I just watched uh, Nick Burns' video. Guys, by the way, if you don't subscribe to Nick Burns, go right now and subscribe to him. Um, just do it. I'm not even going to justify it. Just go sub to... You should all be sub to Nick Burns. He is amazing. Um, I just saw his video about Blue Jay last night. I, I was hoping that he would, like, fly it, but he just basically talked about it, which is fine. Um, I, I didn't, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'll, I'll try it for sure. I don't know if I'll try it now or, you know, this week or next week, but I'll definitely try it. It's not, like, high on my list of priorities, but I'll, I'll definitely try it. Uh, Ram Dunko says hi to Harry the... Uh, Harry the, the cat, uh, Dustin Gable says, kid, lol, um, Ruby Tim says, Harry, please love us, uh, Ruby Tim with a $5 super chat for the cat, so I now have to buy the, ri <laughs> Yay. so, hold on, let me, let me, I haven't actually done this, this math, um, so we almost, so he almost died, uh, about two years ago. And it's because his pancreas, he was born with like a broken pancreas and he has uh, pancreatitis. So the food 
that we have to get his little ass <laughs> is hold on so it's that much and that lasts us I've been meaning to do this math it is it's two dollars it's two dollars a can and we give him two cans a day so Remy Tim's five dollars will keep that cat alive for one and a half days thank you for that Remy Tim that was super nice of you actually it's even less than that because we also have to put this ridiculous powder in his food and the powder costs a goddamn fortune um, but we don't have kids so he is our child and we love him like a child and when you love a living thing like a child you're willing to make sacrifices and and keep that living thing alive because yeah I mean stuff is just stuff right like living things are are very special and and uh, yeah so thank you Remy Tim one day of life granted to that little gray bastard because of you uh, uh, <laughs> the imposter calling it out uh Athic says one thing i hate about usps is the messenger package is moving through our system yeah me too message pisses me off more than not knowing where it is currently still waiting away hd3s uh worth the wait Athix. uh my god do i feel your pain free lojo says drop the link for nick burns looks like Ruby tim did that thank you thank you thank you daniel you are the man Athix says late message on the esc firmware my buddy tried blu-ray he told me it completely changed his nanohawk really um did he like did he tell you any more than that like like what it completely changed um free lojo is now subbed to nick burns you're gonna love it free lojo uh and i am caught up on chat and it is 11:38. holy cow all right keep those questions coming toxic fpb says uh, he's flying almost exclusively Gemfan. Ethics props on Moongoat right now, but the other eight rigs are all on Gemfan from whoops to five inches every, everywhere in between. Very cool. Uh, what will I not say? That sounds like a challenge. Um, uh, hashtag no, nip, no nips, no sub for the Patreon. Is that it? Is that what I'm not willing to, to say? Hashtag no nips. You guys don't want to see my... I have an ugly nipple. No, I'm not going to... That's a lie. I have normal human nipples, but you guys are never going to get to see them. Uh, Jim, oh, here we go. Jim Finna uh, says, read it. Scrolling up. Scroll, 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 scroll. Where is it? Where is it? All right. <laughs> Please ever... Uh, okay, that's what, that's what it was. Yeah. No nips, no sucks. Uh, Minecraft Torch, what do you want to know about it? Um, I've got two of them. One of them's over here, one of them's over here. Uh, these are really cool. These were made by Think Geek. Uh, I assume Think Geek is still around. Uh, they're kind of expensive. I think you could also get these at, like, Target, though. Um, I, uh, Chris and I played Minecraft a lot. Uh, when we still lived in New Jersey, so that would be about like six or seven years ago, and um, it looks like it's on Thingiverse too. How toxic? How would you print one of these? Um, yeah, well, I just did it, so you can. It's set up to to sit on a flat surface. Uh, it's got the power button all nicely camouflaged, but like, look at this. They've got a living hinge that opens like that, and then you can mount it on the wall. Is that not, like, the most satisfying thing that you've ever seen? And then there's a little clip, so it clips in there. I And then just a little simple thing for three triple A's. Kind of annoying. I really wish it used double A's. Um, but this, this little, like... I, there's just something about like elegant designs like that, you know, like simple but just like, oh, I just love it. I I do kind of wish that this wasn't a living hinge because this will eventually die, uh, and break. But uh, mainly because when you put it like this to hang it on the wall, you can't get at the batteries, 
right? So every time I got to switch the batteries out on this thing, I have to fold this living hinge. And yeah, eventually it'll, it'll die, but uh, that's okay. We've actually got three of these, so as long as I... As long as I only ever have one in the in the shot <laughs> for the stream, then uh, yeah, I can have them for a long time. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. While I was dicking around with that, some some good questions came in here. Uh, Travis Easterday says, "Do you have a favorite three-inch Cinewhoop setup?" I certainly do, Travis. <clears throat> uh, the frame is the Cinesplor, uh, made by FPV Cycle. That's what both of these guys are. Uh, and then depending on which motor setup you wanna go with, my recommendation for uh, the motors and the props and the ducts even is gonna change. Um, in terms of electronics on board, just do a 20 by 20 stack. Down in the description, there are affiliate links to all of the, the gear that I trust and, and use and have been using for a long time. Um, so yeah, just get a regular old 20 by 20 stack, uh, whatever VTX, it's got 20 by 20 mounting for the VTX. So like I have these, uh, these rush tanks in here because they go up to like 800 milliwatts. Um, but you could also put, uh, uh, digital in them or whatever. It's, it's a fairly straightforward setup, right? Um, the, the session on here is kind of just for fun and it's in there upside down. Um, the, the session in this one was just uh, for, for the LOLs. Um, unless you wanted to do the... Um, so there's new software coming out where you can uh, black box the gyro data on board and then dump that into a piece of software with the video from pretty much any uh, HD camera and it will allow you to do um, uh, real steady go and and do full stabilization with even a session a nice lightweight session so like that's pretty cool I mean that that makes this little setup kind of amazing uh, Dauntless says where do you buy sessions eBay Dauntless or um, yeah, mainly eBay now. Amazon every once in a while has them, but they're like a million dollars. So, yeah, if you wanted to go ultra lightweight, this would be one way of doing it. Uh, these are uh, X Nova 1804 motors. Realistically, though, th this is the right setup because, like, just not having to screw around with that software and, like, there's there's a lot of advantages of, of using a Hero. Th this is a much more realistic Cinewhoop setup. And it's not that much heavier. Um, I've got this set up to be as light as possible, which is using Brother Hobby 2004 motors and the cloud uh, cheap <laughs> ducts that uh, that Kebab sells on um, FPV Exchange. These ducts are like two bucks each. Uh, these are the V3 ducts, which he prints which are like 30 something dollars for the set of four. Um, the, if you want to use these V3 ducts, you have to either use uh, HQ's 75 millimeter Cinewhoop propeller, which is not the best Cinewhoop propeller, or you got to use Kebab's motors, his 2203 slash four motors, uh, raise the regular three inch propellers up high enough to work with these v3 ducts these 1804 motors and these brother hobby 2004 motors are too low and the propeller sits down too far for these v3 ducts and the propellers rub really bad on the duct um, Technically, you could just put whatever the hell three inch propeller you want on there, take a piece of sandpaper, spin the motor up, and just and, and just you know, like, but I'm not playing that game. Um, and I kind of like these these bigger ducts. Um, my with, with a Cinewhoop, a lot of times I want to go really slow, and these really tall ducts do that, they block more air and it just travels more slowly. 
Whereas these V3 ducts, I mean, look at the look at the difference in the profile, right? Like obviously these ducts are gonna just travel faster. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really like this setup. And these ducts being really cheap, they're, you buy a bunch of them, you bash the shit out of them, they're fine. Uh, these Brother Hobby 2004 motors are brilliant. Uh, they are a T-mount motor, so it does limit your propellers. You can run the Gemfan 5 blades, or you can run these HQ 5 blades. Um, I, up until this point, have been running the Gemfan 5 blades, the D76s, and they've been phenomenal. Um, just out of curiosity, I did want to. I do want to try these HQ five blades out, but I can already tell by the blade profile that these aren't going to make enough thrust. It's just sort of. I, I just always feel like I have to try all the options. Go figure. I'm sure none of you guys know exactly how that feels. Um, so yeah, this is really my preferred setup. Uh, technically speaking, though, going with Kebabs 2203 slash four motors. Uh, yeah, I mean, those motors are really, really good. They're not that much heavier than these 2004s. Um, and then you, you can use these ducts or you can use the V3 ducts. It, it kind of... It makes it a little bit easier to run his motors, to be honest with you. Um, I put these motors on here and just kind of like fell in love with it. I had a set of his 2203s. And I just said to hell with it, and I sold them because I just loved the way that this flew as it was with the with the Gemfan D76 five blades. Um, at some point, I mean, I I slapped these uh, X Nova 1804s on here just as like an experiment to see how light I could make a Cinewhoop. Um, this probably won't stay together in this configuration. I'll probably pull these motors off and put them back on the Acrobrat. Um, but yeah, I, I'm still just kind of screwing around with this, with the, with the session on it. Um, just for shits and giggles. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different options for you. Uh, the, but the, this Cinesplore frame, man, it, it's just, it's just really, really good. It, it really impresses the, the bejesus out of me. And, uh, I, I still haven't flown this one with the, with the V3 ducks. This should be pretty interesting set up to be, well, what's, What's kind of annoying though is these V3 ducts are a lot heavier than than these big tall cloud ducts. So the this is no longer like the lightest. It's this is a much lighter weight setup with these ducts. Um, but I can't use these V3 ducts on this setup uh, because the these motors are T-mount. And there aren't any 75 millimeter T-mount propellers that will clear these V3 ducts. It's it's a big confusing. I, I can't believe I just explained all that to you guys. That was a complete waste of your time. But hey, now you know. If you rewind and watch that 18 times, you'll maybe understand the insane situation that I've got myself into <laughs> with these. <laughs> Oops. Um, the easy setup is the Cinesplore Bob's motors. The V3 ducts, if you want a little bit more speed and a little and better performance, uh, those cloud cheapo ducts, if you want to go a little bit slower and you're cheap like me. <laughs> B-Man says, uh, what are your actual rates? I'm going to switch from beta flight weights. Rates, where should I start? Uh, center sensitivity, I have as low as it'll go, which is 10. Uh, rotational rate, you can just match up with whatever you were at on beta flight. For me, it's 700. Uh, for max rotational and then I leave the expo alone the stock expo setting is 0.54 um, with actual rates the, the you're gonna spend most of your time just moving the expo up and down the the center sensitivity all the way down feels beautiful your max rotational rate you probably already know uh, so yeah most of your what one of the things that's great about actual rates is you spend all of your time screwing around with the with the expo rather than balancing, changing your RC rate with your Expo with your Super rate. Uh, regular beta flight rates, the RC rate is the only thing that affects the center of the stick travel, but it also affects the whole curve. So as you try to get a softer center, it changes your Expo and it changes your max rotational rate. And it's just, it's just a silly setup. Uh, actual rates for life. 
Uh, Leadfinger says, have you flown the Tiny Trainer? Any thoughts on the race series? Super stoked for the spec races this summer. Uh, Leadfingers, if you go back far enough, I did a build series of live streams building a Tiny Trainer. Um, I flew it a little bit. It's... I, I'm not a racer. I'm, I'm a freestyle pilot, so it didn't have enough power. I put more powerful motors on it, and then I got really annoyed by how much prop there was in view. Um, for me, like, uh, pretty much if I'm going to fly a rig, it has to be able to carry HD with no props in view, and there's pretty much no way to do that on a tiny trainer. Um, the spec racing series, though, is so cool. Uh, I come from motorsports where spec racing is like some of the best racing uh, that you're ever going to get to see, and it also keeps the cost down. Um, so I'm a huge proponent of spec series, and that that tiny trainer spec series is going to be super awesome. So yeah, um, and it's a great it's a great rig for that. So th that's going to be you're going to love that man. <clears throat> you're going to have an absolute blast. Uh, Athix says he said he flew it and it was twitchy. Blue Jay took the twitch out and made it more stable. Take it as it is. Interesting. Um, uh, thanks for that feedback, brother. Toxic FPB says just posted the Thingiverse file in the Discord under live chat if you want to see it. Doesn't have the living hinge, but it is wall mounted. Damn, that is really cool, Toxic. Um, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Ruby Tim says Think Geek was bought out by GameStop. Oh, you're right. Uh, so they're doing great in terms of the markets, but GameStop vastly, re vastly reduced the amount of products they sell now. They cut a lot of products. That sucks. Think Geek was really cool back in the day, man. I used to love going on there. Dauntless says, uh, where do you buy your Session 5s? Uh, Gemfan is out of here. Thanks for hanging if you're still here. Uh, everybody go show Gemfan some love on Instagram and all the places. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, they rule. Toxic FV says, uh, just put it to the picture of my Cinesplore in the Discord. Also, I rate it uh, rate it from 1 to 10. Oh, well, now you got my attention. Now I'm willing to launch the program. Uh, Freelojo says, I'm running Kebabs Motors with the Gemfan D76 on my Taycan. It flies great. Uh, yeah, you guys that have heavy Cinewhoops like the Taycan, f go get Kebabs Motors now. Like, leave here this is nonsense go get those 2203 slash fours they will fix those heavy cine whoops um they like rip on the on the cine Explorer lightweight builds but man those those like super beefy chunky heavy uh cine whoops need those 2203 2204s oddly enough his cine Explorer is light enough that with the 2004s it's it's fine uh, which is why I haven't gone to the 2204s, the 2203s yet. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to start calling them 2204s. Because that's what they are now. They used to be 2203s. Now they're 2204s. Bob, if you didn't want people to know that, sorry. But I already said it. So, yeah. 2204s. Uh, Leadfinger says, "Do you think I could a decent? I could get a decent flying three inch with a 3D printed frame. Uh, want to try to fly a snap concept with a quick change stack? Um, unfortunately, not. Leadfingers, 3D printed frames can are are never stiff enough and light enough. Uh, you can make them stiff enough, but then they're too heavy. Uh, you can make them light enough, but then they're too wobbly." Um, 3D printing a frame is a good, like, iterative step for frame design, uh, especially if you want to try to figure out where it's going to break. So, like, 3D printing a frame and then going and crashing it a bunch, you can get some good data as to where it breaks, and then you beef that area up, and then you have it um, cut from carbon. Um, look, up, uh, look up CNC Madness. Uh, CNC as in you know CNC and then madness they're up in Canada they have very low minimum quantities uh, for getting carbon cut um, but yeah for like revision one revision two maybe revision three uh, 3d printing has some value for sure uh, but the problem is gonna be the vibrations like you're it's it's just never gonna fly quite right because it's just never gonna be quite uh, stiff enough carbon fiber is phenomenal at 
um, having just the right amount of stiffness that we need, but also just the right amount of flex uh, that we need. Uh, great question, man. Uh, Freelojo says, have a great evening. I'm heading home from work. Thanks for hanging, Freelojo. Uh, B-Man says, does woobly, what does woobly sound like? It's kind of got a little like... Sound. I'm gonna cut that out and put it into the. I'm compiling. Uh, I stole this idea from I, uh, Joshua. Uh, I'm gonna compile a, a video of uh, of uh, of sound effects. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where am I at here on uh, in the thing in the place? Uh, toothpick and whoop. Is that where it is? Uh, no, that's not it. Where am I looking in, uh, in, what's this program called? Discord. <laughs> where am I looking in Discord? Uh, Dauntless says, so where do you get your session five? Same answer as before, Dauntless. Uh, eBay. <laughs> uh, under live, Toxic FTV says, awesome. Um, oh my god, it looks so good! Holy shit! How did they print it like that? Oh, the keystrokes, guys. The keystrokes. How how does it look so good? What? Did they paint it? Oh, it's individual blocks. Oh, my God. That's really... Oh, okay. They just painted the... Oh, but that's cool. It's got the notches. Wow. 3D printers, yo. Wave of the future. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, here comes a link in the chat. All right, there you guys go. And then I'm also looking at, wait, uh, C Young 300 says, you like Akon ESCs as much as the flight controllers? Absolutely. Thus far, everything Akon makes, uh, everything Akon makes is incredible. In my experience, oh god, I, I don't know how I spelled that word. Uh, here is a Cinesplore with a session. I'm glad I'm not the only one with a session on the Cinesplore. Looks good. Uh, what are those? What are those ducts? Did you so you 3D printed the? Oh, cool. And the session is on a. Um, uh, the session is on a. Uh, one of these mounts that tries to get enough of the vibrations out that you can actually run it through real steady go. That's cool, man. I dig that. Uh, get You can save yourself a whole bunch of weight by getting the cloud ducks if you don't already have them. Uh, but this is dope. What, what, I'm interested in those, in those ducks. What are they? Are they on uh, Thingiverse? They look good. I dig it. I dig it, man. Very cool. All right. And uh, nope, can't do that because nothing works. Um, uh, B-Man FPV says, what do you think about the 55 amp T-Motor stack? Uh, I don't know much about it, B-Man. All right. Um, Remy Tim's comment is going to be the last one here. It is 11.59. We're going to get this wrapped on up. Uh, but B-Man says, what do you think about the 55 amp T-Motor stack? So... I haven't personally run it, but what I've heard is that the 55 amp T-Motor ESC is the best ESC available, which is pretty cool. Um, and I don't, I don't think I've heard anything bad about T-Motor flight controllers. So yeah, I mean, that stack should be damn good. Uh, I, with Akon stuff starting to kind of disappear, it seems... I might be moving over to T-Motor Electronics, so I, I might have more info for you um, about T-Motor Electronics. But, like, everything I've heard so far about T-Motor Electronics is just like, yeah, it's awesome. Um, so you should be totally good. Rumi Tim says, uh, I literally just reround your Cinewoop bit because I'm building one with parts. Uh, want to know the best parts to make it and working end product. Super helpful talk, though. Uh, Daniel just messaged me, and I'll uh, hook you up. Toxic FPV says, I printed all of them. The ducks came from five, uh, Fly 533. Really? That's super cool. Remix that session frame because I couldn't find one to print. Cinesplore make it work. Rob Axison says, my page still says only, says only 4.99k subscribers. It better not. 
or I'm going to throw a chair through this window. T-Bird fell asleep. <laughs> well, you came back just in time for the end of the stream, brother. And... Yeah, 5,022. Thanks, guys. Very, very cool. Uh, cue the sound of the guinea horn. Bah, 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 bah. This was your Monday night installment of the CIF PV show. Uh, congratulations to all the winners. I will be back tomorrow for another live stream uh, for all of you awesome patrons. Or, so when I do the daily streams, I don't like lock them. I leave them public. So, you know, if you're not on Patreon, you can get daily streams from me. You just got to be on top of it. And I don't schedule them. So you won't know when it is. Um, and then the replays of the daily streams go over on the Patreon channel. Um, so yeah, CIDFPV.com has a million different ways you can support me if you want me to keep doing this full time. Uh, Patreon is one of the best ways, but there are some others. Uh, Toxic FPV says, uh, print you some of those ducks. Uh, I appreciate it, Toxic, but I'm good. I got these V3s. I got about a million of the class. I like the, man, I, I like the, the cheapo ducts. Like, because when I fly a Cinewoop, I specifically want to go as slow as possible, and those big, tall ducks do that. So, like... I keep, like, I'm going to fly these V3s, but I can pretty much guarantee you I end up pulling them back off. Um, and the, the cloud ducks are really lightweight. I, I just, I know I'm, like, the weirdo for liking those ducks, but, like, I, I have, like, I think I have, like, 12 extras. So, like, I kind of also want to break them. Like, I just kind of kept buying them <laughs> because they were, like, two bucks per. I'm like, yeah, I'll get a bunch. Um, but I appreciate it, brother. Uh, Dusty Gable says, awesome stream. See you on the next one. Thanks everybody. Here comes some. Uh, here, I'll pick a. Uh, I'll pick a video and play it, and then. Uh, yeah. Oh, here's a cool one. Here's a cool little, little bit of, little bit of cinema for you guys to, to end things off. Let me go to Epidemic Sound, and pick a little royalty free, jam for you, and let's go to genres. And uh, let me pick something. Let me pick something chill for you guys. Here we go. Uh, low rhythmic drones. This ought to be interesting. Enjoy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is the most dramatic thing that's ever happened on this stream. <laughs>